Leaked video shows Sturgeon dismiss finance concern. A leaked video has emerged apparently showing former SNP leader Nicola Sturgeon playing down concerns about the party's finances. The footage, published by the Sunday Mail, is said to be from a virtual meeting of the party's ruling body, recorded in March 2021. Ms Sturgeon told National Executive Committee, NEC, members the party's finances have never been stronger. She also warned about the impact on potential donors of raising concerns. In the two-minute clip Ms Sturgeon said she had been on the NEC continuously for 20 years, including times when the party had been, frankly teetering on the edge of bankruptcy. She added, the party has never been in a stronger financial position than it is right now and that's a reflection of our strength and our membership. So, just a bit of context for us all to remember. Miss Sturgeon, who appears to have been recorded without her knowledge, also issued a direct appeal to those attending the virtual meeting. She added, just be very careful about suggestions that there are problems with the party's finances because we depend on donors to donate. There are no reasons for people to be concerned about the party's finances and all of us need to be careful about not suggesting that there is. The ex-SNP leader also urged members not to leak any details from the meeting because that would limit the ability for open, free and frank discussion. The SNP NEC meeting held on 20 March 2021 took place against a backdrop of growing internal dissent about transparency. According to the Sunday Mail, three senior officials, Edinburgh Lord Provost Frank Ross, Alison Graham and Cynthia Guthrie, had just revealed to the NEC their intention to resign from the party's finance and audit committee after being denied sight of the accounts. In May that year, Two NEC members, SNP National Treasurer Douglas Chapman and MP Joanna Cherry, resigned from the ruling body, citing concerns about transparency. The March 2021 NEC meeting took place just a few days before the first complaint was made to police about the SNP's finances. A pro-independence activist is said to have raised concern that nearly £667,000 of funds raised for a future independence campaign may have been used for other purposes. In June of that year, the party's former chief executive Peter Murrell, who is married to Ms Sturgeon, loaned the party £107,620 to help it out with cash flow problems. The following month Police Scotland began a formal investigation into the party's finances, named Operation Branch Form. The police inquiry resulted in the arrest of Mr Murrell earlier this month as well as a search of the SNP's Edinburgh offices and the confiscation of a £100,000 motorhome, reported to have been purchased as a campaign bus. Mr Murrell was later released without charge pending further investigation. The BBC has been unable to contact Ms Sturgeon directly for comment. The BBC has been unable to contact Ms Sturgeon directly for comment. The SNP has insisted its finances are in balance after reports the party is facing a financial crisis. According to the Sunday Times the party's treasurer told its ruling body it was struggling to balance the books due to an exodus of members and donors. The SNP told the BBC selective quotes had been taken out of context. On Saturday the new leader Hamza Yousaf dismissed rumours the SNP faced bankruptcy, saying the party was solvent. The SNP's National Executive Committee, NEC, met on Saturday morning following a turbulent fortnight which has seen the arrest of former Chief Executive Peter Murrell and the SNP's offices searched by police. When Mr Yousaf later faced questions about rumours the party was facing possible bankruptcy, he replied, it's not. The party is solvent. However, the Sunday Times reported that the NEC meeting had been told by party treasurer Colin Beatty that it was having difficulty in balancing the books due to the reduction in membership and donors. He also warned that a likely Westminster by-election in Rutherglen and Hamilton West in the coming months could put the party under pressure, according to the paper. The SNP said the report was misleading and insisted the party was ready to contest any possible by-election which could be triggered if MP Margaret Ferrier is suspended from the Commons for breaching Covid rules, selected quotes being pulled out of context and not an accurate representation of the case presented at today's, Saturday's, meeting of the party's National Executive Committee, a spokesperson said. The SNP's National Treasurer confirmed the party's finances are in balance and, 
as Scotland's largest political party, we will fight any by-election with the intention to win, to suggest otherwise is farcical. The SNP is solvent. Meanwhile, the party's former Westminster leader Ian Blackford also insisted there was no immediate threat to the party's finances. Asked if the party was solvent Mr Blackford told the Sunday show on Radio Scotland, absolutely, categorically, the SNP is solvent. The finances are in balance. We will be able to meet our obligations and liabilities going forward. The Ross, Sky and Lochaber MP acknowledged there had been a dip in membership but added he was optimistic the party would be able to reverse the decline. He added, when all is said and done we have still got over 70,000 members, members that are paying subscriptions, donations coming in, parliamentarians making contributions. As would be normal we will be looking at how we can raise additional funds as well. But the party will be ready to meet all its liabilities and will certainly be ready to meet the challenge, if it comes, of a by-election in Ruthaglen over the coming period. Last week, Mr Yousaf revealed that he had been unaware until he became leader that the SNP's auditors had resigned more than six months ago. The firm Johnston Carmichael quit last September, and there is concern the party may be unable to conduct an audit due in July. The party has acknowledged difficulties in recruiting new auditors. On Thursday, the new SNP leader and First Minister also said he only recently learned that the SNP had bought a luxury motorhome. It was seized by police from outside a property in Dunfermline as part of the police investigation into the party's finances. According to Daily Record it was bought as a campaign bus ahead of the 2021 Holyrood election in case Covid restrictions limited other forms of social mixing, but was never used. Former SNP Chief Executive Peter Murrell, who is Nicola Sturgeon's husband, was arrested on 5 April while their home and the SNP's Edinburgh offices were searched as part of the police investigation. He was later released without charge pending further inquiries. Mr Murrell resigned from his SNP position last month after misleading statements about party membership numbers were given to a journalist. The police investigation follows complaints about how the party spent more than £600,000 of donations that it received from activists to fund a future independent referendum campaign. Questions were raised after accounts showed the SNP had just under £97,000 in the bank at the end of 2019, and total net assets of about £272,000. On Saturday the party's NEC approved proposals for an internal review of governance and transparency, as well as the appointment of a new chief executive through an open and transparent external recruitment process. Prior to the NEC meeting, one committee member had suggested he might resign unless forensic auditors were appointed to examine the party's finances. Bill Ramsey, the SNP trade union group convener, said, I have been raising issues about the governance of the party for some time. A forensic audit is a term often used to describe an audit aimed at uncovering evidence that could be presented in a court of law. Hamza Yousaf later said a resolution passed unanimously at the NEC meeting referred to external input into the review, which could include forensic auditors. Scottish Conservative Chairman Craig Hoy questioned why the party had not yet appointed new auditors. He said, people inside and outside the SNP are sick and tired of senior figures' secrecy and lack of transparency. And Scottish Labour's Jackie Bale said, the SNP is elected to do, and of course this body is the governing body of the party. But, you know, just be very careful, uh, all of us, about suggestions that there are problems with the party's finances, because we depend on donors to donate. There are no... Uh, reasons for people to be concerned about the party's finances and all of us need to be careful about not suggesting that there is. Um, and lastly, we've got to be careful as an NEC. We don't reap what we sow. If we have leaks from this body, as I said earlier on, it limits the ability for open, free and frank discussion. Uh, this body is all, and this is the governing body of the party with the responsibility to pass a budget. Um, and if we... So in all the years I've been on it, there has been good quality, uh, detailed financial information given by national treasurers, and that's how it should be. But if there are leaks, as with everything else, it, that gets more difficult to do. So everybody has to be very clear 
about that. And, you know, if I was a betting person, and just to be clear, Alison, this is not directed at you in any way, shape or form, uh, but if I was a betting person, I would bet we'll see the statement that's just been read out out in public this afternoon. Um, so I hope I'm wrong about that, and it might do a great uh, benefit for the confidence we all have in the discussions we can have in this NEC if I am proved wrong about that, and I'm sure I won't be the only one looking to see whether that is the case or not.